Welcome to Riverside TV, sponsored by Riverside Collectibles. My name is Doug Wrench, and today we're going to be looking at CMC's diecast model in 118 scale of the Ferrari 500 Formula 2 car from 1953. Um, this is not a new release. This is a car that they've had out for some time. Um, I just always thought it was one of my favorites, and I just thought it epitomized um, the kind of things that CMC do, does. So I thought, it, since it's still available, it's model M056, I thought that we could take another look at it. Now, although it's called a Formula 2 car, it is indeed Ferrari's Formula 1 car, Grand Prix car from 1952 and 1953. In 1952, the FIA decided they were going to reduce engine capacities, which they've done numerous times since then, uh, down to 2 liters. So... Alfa Romeo pulled out, and Ferrari decided that they were going to stay in with their 2-liter 4-cylinder double overhead cam Formula 2 engine. Um, it was quite successful. Top drivers like Alberto Ascari and Mike Hawthorne drive the car, drove the car, and many, many more. And I just thought it was always a very one of the most beautiful front-engine Ferraris race cars that they made. Now, if we take a closer look... First, we'll take a look at the engine, and we can see it is indeed double overhead cam, four cylinder. You can see the magnetos in the front, twin magnetos like an aircraft with two plugs per cylinder. Um, the even the finish on the valve cover; it's got that hammered um, kind of hammered look paint in the dark gray. That looks very, very much like the real car would have. Um, look a little closer, we'll see it's got twin um, Weber carburetors, 45 DOE carburetors. And we'll come over the top and look a little more of the detail in front of the engine. You can see the steering mechanism, the firewall, and the exhaust pipes. We'll work our way back and take a look in the cockpit. And you can see the detail of the, the, the steering wheel made out of the burled. Uh, wood and looks absolutely um, very realistic. The uh, dashboard is in natural aluminum as it would have been on the actual car. Um, you can see the, the space frame or frame chassis made out of steel on the real car and painted gray and the classic Ferrari uh, shifter gate. The seat is a fabric covered aluminum racing seat and it's real fabric on this this car back of this beautiful tail section and you can see the Monza style filler cap. Now if we take a look at the 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 wheels, this has always been an area that um, they do an excellent job at CMC. Uh, you're getting real spun aluminum rims and hubs, real knockoff eared hubs, right and left hand thread if you ever decide to take them off. Just remember they're just like a real car. Uh, stainless steel spokes, the tires are just molded, uh, tire name, size, everything beautifully done on the car. Now if we kind of pull back and we'll turn it, very carefully turn this car over where we can see a lot of the detail a little bit better. We'll take a look at the front suspension, which is an unequal length parallel A-frame suspension. Uh, cross leaf spring shocks, which they're hard to see in the front suspension, are Hudai lever action shocks, just like you'd find on a Model A or Model B Ford, but were very, very common in racing cars at this period of time, especially after World War II. Um, bottom of the engine, again, you see that gray painted steel chassis, aluminum floor pans. Here's the rear transaxle, although it's a front engine, it's a rear gearbox and differential uh, independent half shafts coming in out it's a it's a Dion rear which means it's still a solid the two rear wheels are still connected together but it's kind of a semi, semi independent suspension you can see the hand riveted fuel tank inside and now from this view you get a look at that Hudai shock um, big big drum brakes let me pull back Turn the car back over. A 
And again, all die cast metal. I've had somebody ask me recently if CMC uses resin parts in their car. They, they do not. Everything is die cast, beautifully made. Um, this is again model M056. Uh, no numbers on it, just a plain bodied version in red. And they are still available. So thanks for looking.